On this day, five years ago, I flew out to Park City, Utah to meet up with a few dozen family and friends for a beautiful mountaintop wedding and what was the most fun I'd ever had in a single weekend. We originally planned to get married in Nashville, which is where we lived at the time. But because Nashville had become a popular destination for weddings, the prices were outrageous for what you actually get. I discovered that I could host a five-star wedding and rehearsal dinner in Utah for nearly half the cost of a three-star wedding in Nashville with a much better view. Our family and friends would have to travel either way, so we selected Park City, Utah. After touring several venues, I chose the St. Regis Deer Valley Hotel for our outdoor ceremony and their stunning and intimate wine vault for the wedding dinner. The dance reception would be later at the host hotel. First, we hosted our guest on the outdoor lawn. A trio of stringed instruments greeted them with modern pop tunes as they offboarded the funicular. My dad walked me down the aisle and presided over the ceremony too, which was really special. 38 of our closest friends and family were in attendance. I worked with a floral designer, Lillian Iris, to achieve my vision of romantic shades of mauve, deep purple, violet, and fuchsia flowers that would grow like wildflowers out of the ground. We served champagne and an assortment of lemonade before entering the wine vault. The wine vault could only seat about 40 people, so I knew it would be perfect. My philosophy on guest list is why invite guests to your weddings who you wouldn't pick up the check for on most days. This makes for a smaller list. We didn't have to spend a ton on decorations and flowers because the room was already magnificent. The tables were wooden and the regular tableware was black earthenware. This would provide the rustic contrast against the sparkling stemware and giant fuchsia peonies that I knew would grace the room. Speaking of peonies, they're my favorite flower. And because they're large blooms, you don't have to purchase many of them. I had the idea of using more greens and fewer flowers to mimic vines growing in a vineyard since we were in a wine room. Now for my gown. My sister and I only went shopping one time when we found this elegant gown with a flared skirt, train, and a heart bodice. It was an antique white and metallic lace. It kind of looked silver in some light, but then it turned like bronzy in the dim light. So it looked even more beautiful in the wine room than it did during the day. Best of all, we found it at a secondhand bridal store. It was 50% off the retail price, and my sister gifted it to me, which was really special. Finally, I selected the quaint Washington Schoolhouse Hotel as the main hotel for our guest. With only 13 rooms, it was cozy, rustic, and luxurious, and the food that they served there was delicious. Breakfast was included, by the way. Subscribe to the channel before you miss my best wedding day planning tips. I have lots of theme ideas, activities for the whole family, money-saving ideas, and ways to fill your special day with meaning. Coming soon. Make sure you subscribe.